Hey, this is Jason from River Pools, and today we're going to talk about how to outfit a fiberglass pool. Most fiberglass pools come from the manufacturer without any fittings, without skimmer, main drains, return lines, or any other type of a uh, through wall fitting, lights, or anything else that you might have installed in your shell. This is a Leisure Roman 23, and we're getting ready to outfit this pool. We just, just had it delivered, set it on the ground. Here we have our components that we're going to put in the pool. We've got our skimmer, two main drains, and three returns. And this particular pool is not getting a light. So we're going to watch our installers outfit this pool and talk about how they do it. All right, so the first thing we're going to do here is mark our skimmer face plate. Chad has gotten that center on our skimmer location on the pool there and it actually set it so that there's two inches from the top of the pool to the to the top of the opening of the skimmer there and then we found that's a good uh, good comfortable place to put it All right, so we've got our skimmer line or our skimmer face plate marked and we're getting ready to cut the hole out and the tool that we use for that is a is a 18 volt battery grinder and we're gonna basically cut this line out fat around the outside so that we have room to insert our, our skimmer uh, face plate. And we're also going to get behind the wall here and off this top coping remove uh, about half of that coping on down here so that the skimmer can can move up flush and uh, be against the wall. Alright, got our face plate in. Now we need See we've got our holes here that need to be drilled, so Chad's got a battery drill with a quarter inch bit and he's going to go ahead and, and drill through those uh, holes through the faceplate. Alright, so now uh, from the outside of the pool we need to take and, and grind down this fiberglass surface so it's smooth so that uh, we can make sure that uh, the back of the skimmer can fit flush against the glass so that we don't have any leaks. And we're just basically knocking the edges off of the, the fiberglass there that are sticking up and just, just making sure it's, uh, it's uh, getting smooth. We're now installing our skimmer Put a nice bead of silicone on the outside. Uh, we've got the face plate stuck on the shell here. We've put a nice bead of silicone on there. We do not use any gaskets on any of our fittings on our pools. We found that uh, they're just not necessary and uh, they seem to add problems rather than take away from them. So we stick with uh, good old silicone. Now we're moving over to our main drains and you can see we've got uh, two pilot holes drilled in the shell here that are equal distances from the top of the pool and, and uh, equal distances from the sides and those pilot holes are what's going to enable us to, to go through the wall with our hole saw here. What size hole saw is that Billy? Three inch. Three inch hole saw which is going to be just right for that through wall fitting to go through there. Our main drain fitting through the wall, and we're going to apply a little bead of silicone around it. Uh, we put a bead of silicone on the, the face plate side as well from the inside of the pool, just enough so it barely squeezes out from around the outside of the the, uh, the fitting. And after we get that bead in, we're going to put our nut on. We have to make sure when you're tightening that nut that you don't over tighten it. Being plastic fittings, if you over tighten it just a little too much it'll pop and, and, and pop the threads in which case you pretty much need to scrap the fitting and, and start all over again so you have to kind of find a, a happy medium there get as tight as you can apply gentle pressure and kind of just know just when to quit
All right, so now we're going to drill our returns. We're going to have three returns in this pool, one in this side wall towards the shallow end, and, uh, and two off this end, just on either side of the seat down there. And our returns, we put the center of the return 14 inches down from the top of the pool. And uh, what size hole saw you got there? Two and, a half. two and a half inch hole saw. Up here on our return fittings and, and other fittings, you'll find sometimes when you're going through the pool that that the fitting will fall in one of the braces that's installed on the outside of the pool. When that's the case, you just basically cut around the outside. These braces are uh, applied to the pool. Um, after the, the pool is pulled from the mold so you can actually get to the original layer of glass uh, by removing this and then grind it around and what we're looking for on all these through, through wall situations is that on the back side we're removing this texture here of the fiberglass and getting it so it's perfectly smooth to the touch and that's when you know you've got a you're ready to uh, put your fitting in. Also around all of our through wall fittings we, we put a lot of silicone around just to kind of seal everything up and uh, we'll kind of smooth that out like fashion there. So we've got our, our main drain fittings in and our last place plate's about to go in.